Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Content has gone a little quiet in FC25 recently, and specifically in one area, evolutions. But there's a growing suspicion that a recent glitch is what is causing EA to maybe stop releasing some of these evos. I want to talk about the glitch that is going on with one specific evolution and evolution change at the moment and why it's a problem for that mode of the game and for EA to keep releasing content there. And of course, guys, we got to talk about the market. I have like no coins right now because I'm trying to flip an icon, but we've got rivals rewards tomorrow and a market today that maybe could mean some prices going down, which could mean a buying opportunity on some cards. But how much will things drop? Do you need to hold cards from your team? Do you need to be selling them or is it going to be a time to make a quick flip tomorrow with rivals? We have a lot to discuss today guys If you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now Let's get into yesterday's Tuesday content guys. We had only one piece of content yesterday I say the content was kind of quiet and that was the sentiment after yesterday's SBC release of the 82 plus triple upgrade one SBC is all that we had yesterday now it's the same 82 plus triple that we had last week same requirements as well just an 83 rated squad the only thing that changed is it is now going to refresh tomorrow on Thursday we'll be able to do it a second time it's a must do in my opinion guys again an 83 rated squad right now is 9,000 coins some people don't like it according to the footbin up vote down vote ratio but it's a must do because we probably all all have 82s and 3s in our even in our discard or quick sell recovery not there duplicate storage getting all the storage things mixed up in my head but duplicate storage easy done easy complete yeah you might only get 82s and 83s back but it's worth the try especially with road of the knockouts that are out in packs at the moment now that was our only piece of content yesterday but i want to talk about evolutions because this is starting to come to the forefront of the community as a lot of people are completing evos and specifically chain evos involving one specific evolution it is power surge guys evolutions over the past couple of weeks as this game has come out started out hot right we've talked about this how we had the power shot evo for those who were on for the pre-order we had the club member reward for the right back evo which was nice we even had box to box the octopus uh sprint supreme for center backs which was really really good and even the silver evo which is our most recently released one but it feels like especially since that first week and even during early access the evo content has slowed down right started hot now it is not, but maybe this is part of the reason that we haven't had an evolution for a couple of days, and maybe it's the reason why we didn't have an Evo yesterday, when it felt like the only piece of content was an SBC, and it felt like there should have been something else. Well, this is the glitched Evo, guys. It is the Power Surge Evolution, and a lot of people have noticed with this Joe Gomez card. I want to show you here really quickly what's happening with this Joe Gomez, because this is a video of somebody who actually has it in game, the Joe Gomez Evo, which is Joe Gomez going into Power Surge and then going into the Club Member Evolution, which is the right back Evo. He's supposed to be 84 rated with 89 shooting and 83 to, uh, dribbling in game. Those are the stats that it shows the card is supposed to be as you can tell this guy is submitting the evolution and the card that is shown is instead an 82 rated joe gomez with less pace less passing dribbling defense and physical from what his card was supposed to be so it's showing accurately in game and it's not actually producing the right upgrades as you do those combo evos and the thing that is in common with this is the Power Surge Evo. Guys, EA have said nothing about this. They haven't posted about it. It's been posted about by a lot of people on Twitter, on X. Like, I just searched Evo Glitch on Twitter, and look how many posts here are about Joe Gomez and, and people claiming their evolutions and seeing how the Evos have been messed up in the past couple of days. And I think EA is 100% aware of this, guys. I know for a fact that they're aware of this, but they haven't said anything about it yet, and it seems to be still ongoing in-game. And I think one of the reasons why we haven't seen an Evo since... When was this released? The glow-up evolution for the Silvers on Saturday? I think it was Saturday, maybe. Because, uh, yeah, I was on stream when this Evo was dropped. I believe it was on Saturday. The reason we maybe have not seen Evo content since then is because they're probably trying to figure out a fix for this, you know? Um, and honestly, the problem with this whole situation right now is it makes us not want to do any more Evos. Like, personally, 
I was looking into doing an Evo with the Power Surge and that club member reward. I forget what player it exactly was, but like that combo is a very popular one right now. Or maybe like you're doing somebody in the Power Surge Evo um, and then you're putting them into like a, a double combination with like box to box or something like tattoo um, for a midfield player, something along those lines. But it makes you not want to do the Evo because I don't know how EA is going to fix the stats on all of these cards. I mean, I'm sure there's a way they could do it, but something that's after the fact, maybe going to hurt you rather than help you of doing an Evo right now and not getting the player that you're supposed to get, that really just makes not me and probably a lot of you guys too not want to do Evos. Here's another example from one of my good friends, Leafs, in the Twitch stream in the community. Um, he evolved Munoz and he did the Power Surge into again that same right back club member Evo. This is the Munoz that he got with 78 passing. 82 dribbling and 77 defense. This is the Munoz he was supposed to have with plus two passing, plus three dribbling, and plus two defense, and also plus one pace. Uh, you know, he's supposed to have 89, and this one only had 88. So, yeah, it's just a bummer, right? You do this, and of course, it's the overall rating as well. It's an 84 instead of an 82. It's just a real bummer when you're like, okay, this is the card I'm going to get, and then you complete the Evo, and even in-game, it shows you that you're getting that rating of player, and then at the end, it gives you a completely different card card so that's why we're assuming that maybe the reason we haven't gotten any evo content in the past few days is because of that glitch and ea are aware of it and trying to fix it i know this leaked tweet says here that ea sports has stopped releasing evolutions i think that's a little bit far hey this guy has leaks maybe he knows maybe they're going to release a statement on it i don't know but at least for right now i would steer clear of the power surge evolution unless you think that this is going to bring you an advantage of like yes maybe getting a smaller stat boost but maybe somehow your player will be evolvable again and you'll take the small stat boost to try to fit them into a more recent chain Evo. I know some people are trying to do the easy Evos right now to maybe get a lower rated player with less boost, but still get some boost so that they could still be um, evolvable again in the future with the low requirements that we have right now. So a little bit of a head game there, but I'm personally just going to wait until we get um, new Evos and, and hopefully get it fixed. But I'll probably do other Evos that aren't the Power Surge one because everything else seems to be good. But then again, it just raises the question of what's going to happen with some of these Evo cards. This is the Joe Gomez, once again, that everybody's trying to do right now. They, they're not getting the right card for. So I wanted to bring that up today. I know EA is aware of it, and hopefully it gets fixed very soon, and we'll see if we have Evolution content. Obviously, Fridays are big, big days for Evolutions. We'll see if they can get it fixed and if we can get some new content here very soon, if not today or tomorrow on Thursday as well. Now, that's a lot about Evolutions, guys. Let's talk about the market because yesterday I bought some cards, and I I sold the VVD and I sold the Bellingham. I bought this Bellingham on stream yesterday for 332. He went to about 350, and I just got this card and I was like, I think he had his little bit of a rise. Uh, I just want to get him out. A lot of people were starting to sell Bellingham yesterday. His price was dropping as people were just, I guess you could call it a little bit of panic, but they were just selling as he didn't really rise well. We thought this was going to be a fantastic investment. It really didn't pan out because there's just so much supply of this Jude Bellingham. He is like really, really supplied on the market. Now, I also sold VVD because I started seeing that I was always, I had the coins, right? I sold VVD for 360K, bought them for 350. So I didn't make any coins off of that. But what it allowed me to do by selling that card and getting all my coins liquid was it allowed me to buy some of these top tier icons that I had not been able to afford with liquid coins, like this Kaka right now, who I bought for 1.05, looking to sell for 1.17. Like that's a really good flip, right? I still think the icon on the hero market's very inflated, but also very good to trade in. And I was just missing that extra couple hundred K that I had in those cards to make some flips in. Now, market overall, I also like to have my coins on a Wednesday because Wednesdays in years past have been days that the market actually goes down. Don't know if that's gonna happen this year still. Last week it did. Last week we had a crazy crash on Wednesday, but that was because it was a different time frame. We were heading into the full standard edition release of the game. And of course we had the first division rivals rewards. You can see over the last Last day the markets yeah it's had its fluctuations here but we've been between 88 and 91 points on the index and it's just kind of chilling i don't think the market's going to crash today as terrible as it did last week it just feels like the market's starting to flatten out but of course last week on thursday we all remember the insane market rise that we had if you look at phil foden's graph right this is the big crash phil foden yes last week was 123 went down to 105 before rivals rewards was low after rivals rewards with a little bit of supply that we got and then all the coin injection from those rewards pushed him back up all the way to 125 it was a crazy drop and then a rise back up 
That's kind of what we're looking forward to tomorrow. Maybe not as big of a drop or today into tomorrow is not as big of a drop in the panic selling, but still a good opportunity to see some prices rise on Thursday before we head into Friday with all the weekly rewards. So I know Friday is still a thing to me that I'm a little worried about, and I've mentioned that already. I told a lot of you guys, especially for the middle tier and lower tier of cards, those have got to be out of your clubs by Friday because the weekend league supply, again, my example is if squad battle rewards can drop prices on like Openda and some of those middle to tier, higher tier cards like um, Araujo didn't do that good last week on Sunday. We were hoping for a rise. We got a little bit of one. If those cards can get packed and supplied from squad battle rewards, imagine the insane foot champs rewards. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later, but that's later on in the weekend. For today on Wednesday, what I think we need to be looking at and looking into is cards that people are going to be upgrading their teams with tomorrow on Thursday after rewards, just like last week, because there's still a lot of gameplay demand. Foot champs this weekend, qualifiers. I think Thursdays are always ingrained for a lot of people that have played FC or ultimate team for the last couple of years. Thursdays are just big days where you play your qualifiers. I know a lot of people like myself have already qualified, so that demand's not there for some of us, but there's always just, especially after you get a set of rewards where there's a lot of coins and not as many supplied tradable packs there are supplied tradable packs and rivals but not as many um, as even squad battles right we looked at the rivals rewards and compared them last week it's a lot more of the untradable rewards combined with tradable but then at the same time you're getting a lot more coins division 5 25,000 coins a lot of people are moving up they're getting even better rewards this week division 3 which a lot of people push to to get into the pro ladder for this weekend and the games that are going on right now for that you get 40,000 coins for that a mega pack and 82 plus team of the week and the tradable player picks I still think there's going to be supply with rivals rewards tomorrow morning but i think what we can look for are some specific cards on the top tier that did well last week that we can invest in today on a wednesday maybe it's right before rewards or it's in a couple hours after rewards are released i think that is the buy time but you want to look into some cards that did really well last week because this week you have another opportunity to invest in them and make some coins as people look to build and upgrade teams. And again, it's in the constant cycle of we're all trying to upgrade our teams and get bigger and better players. And especially with how big Foot Champs is. Foot Champs has so much demand pull this weekend. Like this Foot Champs that is upcoming this weekend, this is the most hyped Foot Champs in like three years on ultimate team because the rewards have been juiced absolutely to the max everybody wants to have the best team possible and those are the cards that people are going to be wanting to upgrade to even tomorrow with rewards i think the market at rewards is going to have a rise i think there's going to be similarities to last week though where prices will probably dip from wherever they're at before rewards they'll probably dip for a couple of hours and then go flying back up and maybe keep rising after content as well this is musiala he was 112k on wednesday last week went down to 83. Let's say this week he starts off, what is he, 90,000 coins? Maybe he's 85, about an hour or two after Rivals Rewards. And then hopefully after that, he goes up to like 100, 100 plus again as people are going and buying and building teams. That's the sort of rise we could hopefully have Thursday after Rivals Rewards. Again, the cards you want to buy and invest in will be the cards that are on that mid to high tier meta. The higher rated, the better. And of course, the more meta, the better. People want to upgrade to those types of cards. Think about when you face a crack team in foot champs, some of the players that team has that you know are insane because you play against them and you see them all the time. Maybe it's Xianmen Sun, maybe it's Salah, maybe it's Bonmati, maybe it's Saliba. Saliba, man, there's so many people that are trying to chase this card that still can't afford him that are running maybe a Mickey Vandevin or that are running like even a Kunde who's 120,000 coins, right? They would sell that and upgrade to a Saliba if they possibly could with the coin injection from rewards. That's a card that I would expect to go up a little bit more tomorrow after rewards. That's the type of player that you want to buy. Now, also, if you're somebody who's already bought something like that for your team, just hold. This is good news for you because you're probably seeing a rise on a player that you bought for your team already. And you're expecting that player price to go up. That's fantastic. Now, the players that you do not want to hold on to would be, again, a guy like an 81 rated Marcus Rashford, who's very fun to use and, and very meta and very popular. But you don't want to hold on to that card like that because it's going to get packed. It's going to get supplied. Same thing with like Uke Makano if it was tradable for you. Same thing with Diaby, who's my right wing. Those are the lower tier types of players that are really going to get hurt in price this weekend. A lot of them have already gotten hurt in price. 
but just be careful with those uh, lower to middle tier cards. Even Shua Many last week on Thursday went out to 28K and then boom, straight back up to 35. His price has been slowly trending up. Hopefully today he goes down to like, maybe it rewards 32, 33K. You can pick him up. He might go to 40. You know, that's the type of fluctuation that you could see late night. I know I'm kind of saying today. I'm looking ahead to like Thursday almost already. But if you see a big drop in the top tier cards before Rivals rewards like late night tomorrow night when I upload the video then, I think that's a good time to be buying some of those cards as well. So I think that answers the question of what to buy, when to buy. Next question is when do you want to sell? Well, I think you want to get out of these cards still before Friday to be the safest. The only cards that you maybe want to hold on to and hold through Friday are going to be your elite tiers like Mbappe, Caroline Graham Hansen, maybe a Puteus. I think those will be safe to hold. If you've already bought them, definitely I think they're a little bit safer to hold. But just because once those weekend league packs come in, there's going to be a lot of supply. We're going to talk a lot more about that, of course, as we get towards Friday. I know this is more about today's market and then heading into tomorrow with Rivals Rewards. It's hard to talk about the Rivals Rewards market on Thursday when the video is coming out like two hours before rewards. Um, it just now we have a lot more time to prepare, to think about it, to watch the market today, to look for certain prices that we want to be you know, getting as well for players that we want to buy. So I think if you buy something, the sell time is probably before Friday foot champs starts, or maybe in the first hour or two of foot champs, there might be a bit of a rise up on the market in that early morning hours. But I could also see once foot champs rewards become obtainable, which is gonna be midday Friday, people are gonna be opening those as soon as they can. And especially on Friday after the new content drop of Road to Knockouts Team 2, people are going to be ripping those as soon as they can to try to get the coins and the packs to go out and buy more players and get bigger and better players in their team, especially their brand new promo cards. So that's kind of my sense on the market for the next kind of two days or so. But I think tomorrow with Rivals is going to be a really, really good opportunity. So watch the market for today. And then, of course, we're going to have the madness on Friday that we're going to be talking about and looking forward to here very soon. Last thing I want to mention is Road to the Knockout cards. These are getting low. Watkins, 89K. Like, some of these are dropping. Some of these are still up. Like, Alvarez is still up. Diani. I like these cards, but I don't like them until this weekend. I'm going to be completely honest there. I want to see what kind of content we get, what this market does with rewards, and especially since the cards are so far away from their upgrades, I want to wait a bit. I want to see what content we get with Team 2 before wanting to invest in those. So that's kind of the, the current market standpoint. Icons and Heroes should be okay to trade with. I mentioned the Pro Ladder. Um, the Pro Ladder games are going on. You actually could see some drop-off in some of the top-tier most meta cards, maybe Mbappe, maybe a Graham Hansen. I think you could see a little bit of a dip on a few of those cards, but that would probably only be because uh, some people are, are selling these off. Now, I would say cards you want to sell today as we talk about a Wednesday, right? We have a new team of the week that is leaked. This is a card that I think is a sell. Vinny Jr., 2 million coins. He's gone up a decent amount. How much does he go down today? I don't know. Does he rebound after he drops? Probably. This card's obviously very, very meta, and a lot of people want to use him. Obviously, he was 1.5 mil. Now he's up to 2 mil, but he's been out of packs. The Inform's 2.8 mil for just a, a simple plus one upgrade. I think I would sell this card ahead of the weekend where he's going to come back into packs. And anything like Luis Diaz, Florian Verts, these cards, got to get out of them ASAP. They're already starting to drop. 79K for Verts. He was like 87. And then, of course, as well, today with the leaked team of the week, we got to talk about this, guys. Militao. Martinez, you've got Pajor, Stanway, Cold Palmer, Vandeven, and Martinelli. Guys, got to sell on the hype. We saw what happened last week. I was even saying yesterday on stream that Vandeven, Gold Vandeven after this leak, was all the way up at 67,000 coins. What is he right now? Is he back up there? That's crazy, man. 67K, I was saying sell this card. I know he's going out of packs. This card was 43,000 coins. 43K. I know his inform is going to be cracked. And it's coming out today, which means this card's going out of packs. But always, sell in the hype. Take the money in this card before content today. Same thing with Lautaro. Same thing with Militao, Palmer, and Martinelli as well. I thought Militao still had some room to rise when I was looking at his price earlier. Uh, but this is not something that I would want to risk it with at the moment. Uh, what is he, 140? Yeah, he could go up to like 150, 155 before going out of packs today as people will be investing in him as that is a player a lot of people will want for their teams, especially with the rivals coins that are going to be injected. So he's definitely a watch, but I think I would sell that in the hype and then we'll monitor that card tomorrow um, and maybe even late tonight into rivals because that could be a good investment after rivals 
but we got to see how much the price drops there. So this is the team of the week that is coming today, or part of it. There's obviously going to be more players. I, I would assume the full team of the week will be leaked before content today. Anything that you bought, though, of a gold car going out of packs, make sure you sell into the hype. Other Wednesday content to expect today. Well, again, we kind of we're throwing out the opportunity for an Evo. We'll see if EA will drop one or not. But there are a couple SBCs that are dropping away and expiring, like the Lone Base Hero Player Pick. I did not do this from last week. Could it refresh today? Yes, that's been the trend. All the upgrade packs have refreshed so far. I could see them refreshing this or maybe going with an icon. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad if it was an icon, if it was cheap. I know it's a loan. We don't love loans, but maybe there's an opportunity to test that out. So watch out for that coming today. And then also, we've noticed a trend as well with the cosmetic Evos with this Team of the Week cosmetic. This should be coming back today as well, um, probably for a Team of the Week Evo number three, obviously, because we've had one and two and probably three as well. So that's kind of the only content I'm really expecting today. I will say there's maybe a chance for a Road to the Knockouts SBC. I believe Godfrey is either going to be in team two or he's going to be a uh, SBC player, Ben Godfrey. And if we were to get Ben Godfrey today as a center back that is English with also left back and right back, he doesn't have any play styles on this card, but I'm sure they would add some. It could be interesting for center back. So, like, especially I look at a card like this, I would be a little worried if he got a good boost. I'd be a little worried for a Tomori because English links in the Serie A. I know he doesn't have the Milan links. It could drop Tomori's price right away, then maybe help Tomori rise a little bit later on. That would be a linking card to Tomori, but I think it would make him drop first. And then other English center backs, maybe even some other Prem center backs could dip a little with that too. If that's the SBC that we get today, just watch out for the leaks ahead of content. But other than that, Wednesdays are usually interesting days because it's a lot of times during the regular part of the year, Wednesdays last year at least, was when we saw the market drop into Rivals Rewards, and then we'd see a nice little bit of a rise after Rivals. So we'll see what happens with that today. Of course, it's a big gameplay day, I know, for a lot of you guys as well, trying to get those last games in. I'm not even trying to go for my 45 points. Um, I know I mentioned this last week, but for me, my Rivals each week is getting five wins because just 15 is is too many. So I'm going to get one more win, and I'll get my Division 5 regular rewards, which last week actually packed me Militao. So... If I could get that luck again, that'd be insane. So I don't put my expectations too high here because I'm just getting my regular Rivals rewards there. And yeah, trading today on the market. Um, yesterday was a day where I bought cards pre-content. I made decent flips on Rivaldo. Zambrata really didn't make me much. I literally made like 2K there. The market is still... Yeah, it's going up, but it feels very flat. That's why I picked up this Kaka because I picked him up at 105. He was selling at 1.2. He's even down a little bit, like not a lot, but just a little bit. So I'm going to keep watching that part of the market, the icons and heroes, because yes, they're inflated. But again, with the coin injection that we have coming this weekend, I think they could dip a little on Friday as we get new cards. Maybe it's hyped and then some people want to try those. But man, you just got to think that a lot of people are going to be getting coins this weekend from the rewards. And that could push some of this high tier rare meta market, even some of the promo cards potentially that are expensive that people want to use like that Doku or a Frimpong, maybe a Marquisio, maybe even the Mateus, right? There's just going to be so many coins that are going to be put onto this market this weekend. It's going to be a mad weekend for the market. So we're going to try to take advantage of it as best as we can. But uh, yeah, it's my current thoughts on the market and especially the stuff that's happening with Evos. I hope EA get it fixed quickly and I hope they communicate about it too, man. Like this is something that's been going on now for a couple of days. You saw the dates on those tweets I was showing you like the last three to four days as people have figured out this Power Surge Evo, which is the second newest Evo in the game, has some glitches to it. I hope they, you know, are able to be transparent and say, hey, this has been a problem. We're looking into it. We're fixing it. So I'm sure they're aware of it. Like I mentioned, I know they're aware of it. So I'm just waiting for them to kind of acknowledge it. And maybe they're figuring out what they're going to do. So we'll see if we get some communication back on that, guys. But that is probably one of the biggest problems on the game at the moment. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. And I'll, as always, check out the second channel if you want some more TFA action there. See you guys today in the stream. Happy Wednesday. It's been Nathan with Account. See you there. Peace.